I know what you're thinking. This is the cutest animal I've ever seen in my life and I really want to wake up to his face and my face every morning. Well, that's my reality. He's a Velcro cat. He sticks to me like glue, even when I'm asleep. Look, it looks like I'm wearing fake tan, but it's not. It's just his oils rubbing off on me in the night and on the bed. I changed these sheets two days ago. Are you kidding me? There's another culprit right there. But yeah, it looks like fake tan. So I had to take off the sheets. Okay, again, <laughs> that's fine. And I'm going to put on these flower ones, but not now. I'm too lazy. Okay, uh, also, there's kangaroos in the backyard very cool they're very that one looks scary as fuck they do punch you which is very scary but anyway i had a shower washed off my cat fake tan and put on this cute outfit i feel like a girly girl in it then mama and i grabbed our books oh also we have matching tattoos nobody knows this but when i was 18 i said to mama let's get a matching tattoo i was on pinterest i saw a rose and the next day we went and got roses on our ankles so yeah anyways i need new headphones and i thought i would jump on the trend of these because you can get covers on them for on etsy are you kidding me so i got like a crochet a story one on the way and like a little diamondy one. Oh, and listen my nails a, a catastrophe at this point okay they grew out so long that i cut them and the regrowth is so bad so i'm going to do little pink nails mama got fresh nails and you can see our feet for free yes for free okay they're beautiful feet also i don't know where i got my height from because i'm 5'9 and my mom is teensy next to me okay i think i got it from my dad but because atis and i are both really tall but anyway that's besides the point we are really excited about opening these headphones okay i don't know why i know a lot of people have them and a lot of you are probably watching this like relax they just had but i don't care it's exciting okay opening an apple product and smelling it it just feels really cool and fresh i'm just really excited about the cover to be honest <laughs> i'm so excited it's gonna look so cute oh and so that i can watch movies on the plane i got this little piece an apple and none of the workers knew what i was talking about until i pulled up a photo it's like a little piece you plug into the tv and then you can use the headphones on the plane as well anyways besides the point i had a little shower i put on my pajamas and mama and i are having this for dinner okay i'm not even gonna say what it is you can see what it is and you know what it was delicious i had it with pickled onions and pickles and it was the best okay and for some reason i've been eating like two scones a night i don't know why but i'm just gonna listen to my body okay it's perfect and you know those movies that you can just watch over and over well to me that's daddy's home and tonight we're watching daddy's home too and i already ordered churros and they just arrived at the front door so i'm gonna eat those with the white chocolate and i'm really excited this is a chicken heart and i love them it's really chewy and there's such a yummy flavor this is what it looks like in the pot. And I eat it with Spätzle, which are German noodles. Every single time I post chicken hearts, right? All the comments are like, that is so cruel. Imagine all the chickens that had to die just for your one dinner. How sad, how evil, whatever, right? Let me tell you something. These are just the scraps of the chickens that you've already eaten. For example, you had Macca's chicken nuggets last night. You had a chicken burger. You had chicken on pizza. You had chicken Alfredo. Whatever chicken you had, they had a heart. And instead of that heart going in the bin, I eat it. So yeah, and it's my favorite food in the whole world. And yeah. My dad doesn't live with us, and when I woke up on Easter morning today, my mum asked me if I had hidden chocolate Easter eggs throughout the house, and I was like, no, what do you mean? My dad, my dad snuck, he broke into our house, firstly, at 3am, in the dark, hiding Easter eggs everywhere. Even though we're adults, he still wanted us to wake up to the Easter bunny. Oh my god, isn't that the cutest thing? He would have been stumbling around, it's pitch black, he didn't want to make too much noise. He said he dropped the Easter egg on the floor, and it made such a loud bang, because it was one of those big ones that he thought we'd wake up oh it's a whole thing he was stressed but it worked out it made our day and listen can i tell you something in germany at the grocery store all year round they have rainbow hard-boiled eggs for everybody to buy for breakfast and i thought i would make some of those for easter oh isn't it just so cute it only takes a second i want to do this all the time because you just put vinegar and hot water and then you put food coloring and the egg in i also made cupcakes they're a bit ugly i'm so sorry but they tasted good that's the main thing oh and my friend told us to do bailey's shots on easter so i don't know why but we did them first thing in the morning okay perfect time for a bailey shot none of us really drink alcohol except for my dad so he was into it okay i didn't like it <laughs> it's too strong i just ate the whole egg for some reason that sounds like a catastrophe to me i don't know why he did that and then we did an eierkampf which translates to egg fights in german basically you bump eggs and if your egg doesn't crack you win and glenn ended up winning but yeah if you and your friends ever have hard-boiled eggs just ask them to do a eierkampf and i'm sure they'll say yes it doesn't sound scary at all sounds fun and of course we had to go bring the horses some easter carrots this is teddy he's a wee wee good boy and let me tell you something about teddy right he's the cleanest horse on planet earth i know he's following me around because of my carrots but trust me 
even when you don't have carrots, this is what he's like. He wants to be on top of you at all times. I think it's very cute, okay? He's a really good boy and he's really good at being a really good boy. Also, did you know that they don't have graham crackers in Australia? I brought these home in my suitcase. I smuggled them across the border just to have s'mores in Australia. Then I had a sausage on a stick. It was very yummy. I did have a belly ache afterwards, but that's okay. And I finished this book. It's from the same author as The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. And I didn't like this book. How? I was so sad. <laughs> I'm taking anti-parasite medication, okay? You guys scared me enough. <laughs> I, I'm I'm really committing to this. It's a 15-day cleanse. I have to take six tablets a day, and I'm doing it, okay? I'm tough. I can swallow three tablets at a time, okay? It's a bit of a flex, I'm not going to lie. Also, do you like my jammies? I love them. I got changed because I'm going to breakfast with my friend. Oh, my God. I never do this, <laughs> but today I'm doing it. She asked me to hang out, and it made me really happy. So I got changed. I put on my little sunnies, my little Easter outfit. I feel like my cardigan is very Easter. I said bye to and my mum was fixing my outfit for me before I left. Very nice of her. And I got her a chocolate Easter bunny and I got her a cold cup of water to drink in the car because, hello, if I have one, she has to have one. Are you kidding? So we went to this bakery. I love it here. It's the Paddock Bakery. I saw they have hot cross buns already. I had to get some. And I got them for Christmas. No, what? Easter. Sorry, I just love Christmas. It's always at the front of my mind. <laughs> we got dippy eggs. So basically, you get the bread, you dip it in the egg. It's perfect. You dip it in the bacon. And then when we got home, mama was making lasagna and cannelloni i don't know i said cannelloni i think cannelloni i don't know i'm sorry and because it's good friday everything is closed right it's a public holiday so i had a shower i took my makeup off i put my pajamas on it's 2 p.m i don't care i'm so happy i grabbed a book to read everyone loves this book it's from the same girl who wrote seven husbands of evelyn hugo and my mum loves uh chocolate with orange i don't know why oh i feel so bad <laughs> for liking it to be honest then i took three more tablets this time i did have a little bit of trouble i can't lie I nearly it nearly went everywhere I'm not gonna lie but I'm still a pro okay I'm still a pro at swallowing tablets it's my title and then mama's cannelloni was in the making oh my god it's stuffed with blue cheese and literally every type of cheese you can imagine it is so delicious and you know what after I finish this voiceover I'm gonna go straight to the fridge and I'm gonna heat myself up some more because this is the perfect rainy day food I'm so happy somebody told me I'm pregnant and somebody else told me I have worms but I don't have either of those children inside me. I'm just really hungry. So let's see what leftovers we have cooking up. Ooh, this is the situation in the fridge right now. This is very special. Gonna put this in the air fryer. It's peaking duck. We also have some salami and some raw meat. You already know this is the perfect snack. I need to make a big dinner. Mm. I'm gonna air fry some of these leftovers. You have to get the good pieces with the extra skin on them. Like this? Oilier the skin, the better. Trust me, because then when you eat it, uh, it's like juice. Okay, perfect. Thank you. I just remembered. I bought scones yesterday from the bakery. Listen, I'm going to put that in the air fryer on the other side and have the scones as well. It's a perfect scoon. Oh, yuck. Fuck. I just made it dirty with these duck, so I have to put it in the oven. <laughs> Two scones for good luck. My mummy made this fruit salad. Eins. Zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and we grab the jam for the scone and the double cream. Oops. That's fine. Perfect, actually. Perfect. Whoa. I think these are hot enough. I microwave them instead. Fuck. Ah, fuck. No. I'll have this one so Atis can have the clean one. Atis and scone is fertig. Sorry, I do this thing where I speak a different language and it's just really crazy. Okay, let's get the scone. Put it in the bowl because I don't have any plates left. You get the heavy whipping cream. What is this? Cut. The. You get the double cream and you put it on nice and thick. And the scone is hot so it's perfect. Then, that's yours, Atis. Wait, that one's mine? No, that's your whipping cream. Ew. Then, raspberry marmalade. Jam. Traffic marmalade. People ask us all the time if we're high, but I'm not. I'm just like the, to eat. Anyway, then you put it on just like so. This is my dinner. Um, this is legitimately my favorite type of food. Just you go in the fridge and the pantry and you look for leftovers. So this is a beautiful dinner to me. Oh, it's my hair. I'm so sorry. So we have the duck, we have the scone, we have the salad and we have water. Most important, water. 
And yeah, that's my dinner. Don't wear it out. <laughs>
dollars, right? Well, at TK Maxx, they're all ten dollars, so you can buy way more candles for the price of one candle. You know what I mean? They all smell amazing. Also, you guys know how I had food poisoning and a stomach bug for twelve days. From that, I don't know what's going on, but now I can't stop eating. I think because I lost so much weight in such short time, my I am never full. I forgot what it feels like to be full. I'm constantly hungry, so I made myself this. I've already eaten so much food today, but you know what? I'm just listening to my body. I'm just eating, and we're watching Pewdie Blues because it's the best show. Ah, I love Pewdie Blues. A special memory that I have with my mama is going to the thrift store every day and filling a bag for $3. And because I grew up doing this, now I'm an expert when it comes to thrift markets, okay? I got this leather jacket. I got this German-looking little hoodie. I already filled two bags after being here for two minutes, okay? I'm an expert. And listen, I came here with an objective to buy some ugly sweaters, to buy some cowboy boots, and that's all, okay? I just need some ugly sweaters and some cowboy boots, and I'll be happy. And I found this. I'm a size 10 girl. It is so hard for me to find shoes at market because my feet are way too big and these shoes were actually too big for me sadly so i had to put them back but i found even better ones i found these cowboy boots i'm so happy they actually fit so i had to get them i think they were they were 80 or 90 dollars a bit expensive but you know what that's fine they're beautiful then i found this and i had to get it because it reminds me of germany with the little patch on the elbow then we got some sunnies because it was so sunny look at us we're jamming we're happy we can finally see and i heard this blouse calling my name is this even a blouse i don't know but i had to get it it was so beautiful i also saw this and I was gonna get it until the guy said it was $150. What? I put it back so fast. What the hell? I did get this though. I think this is a very cute jacket. It says Mustang on it. It's so beautiful. It has a horsey. Oh my god, I love it. It makes me feel so pretty. And then I said, Mama, I'm taking you to Disneyland. She hasn't been to Disneyland here in LA and I knew she would love it. So we got there. We got some pickles straight away and I met my idol. I'm not kidding. Every time I watch Cars 3, I cry because she's such a strong, independent woman. <laughs> like, here's me being a fan of this car. I don't even care. She's the best. And let me tell you a little fact about my mama. She loves Disney so much. She always looks for Mickey Mouse t-shirts and jumpers and hoodies. So I said that she can choose whatever she wants at Disneyland and I'll get it for her. So she filled a bag, okay? She was really picking everything off these shelves and choosing everything, which made me really happy. She said that she feels like it's her birthday. So that's so cute. And then we all had some Uber Eats. <laughs> In the seven years that I've been dating this man, he has never let me pack a suitcase, not even once. And every time I ask if I can help, he says, Anna, if you help, you're going to mess it up. So let me do it because then I'll know that it's done right. So you know what? That's fine. I'll just let him do it. And we are driving back from Vegas to LA today. And I want to show you why this is the most fun road trip you will ever do. It's a four hour drive. It is so eventful. So first you get some breakfast, right? We went to this bagel place. You choose what bagel you want. I got two because I couldn't decide. I got bagels for everyone. I was so excited. I got the salmon and the onion and the cream cheese. Listen, it doesn't look that good, but it's the best thing you ever put in your mouth. Trust me. And then when you drive like 30 minutes in, you come across the biggest gas station in the world. Like this is literally the biggest gas station in the whole entire world. They have every single snack that you could ever imagine. They have every single drink you could ever imagine. They have all the American chips and the chocolates and the beef jerky for some reason. They have so much beef jerky. And they even have one fruit. <laughs> I'm kidding. They only have one fruit in this whole store and it's chopped up cantaloupe in a little fringe. I don't even know. Who needs fruits when you have cheese in a can? Easy squeezy cheese. Anyways, my mama got me this sticker for my suitcase because she said it looks like me and she's not even wrong. Look, here I am. I realize that I look like the picture. It's fine. I look like a sloth. I'll accept it. And then when you continue the road trip, you come across a store and it's Area 51 themed. So the whole store is alien themed. Apparently you can buy alien jerky here and alien honey. Look, 100% alien. Okay. <laughs> anyway, it even meets an alien. And if you know, we've actually driven to Area 51 before and the cops came. It was very scary. I made a TikTok about it once, but that's a different story. Then when you continue the drive, you come across this building and this is called Peggy Sue's Diner. It's a diner from the 50s and this is so old school they have the proper american pies they have all the old like seats even in the bathroom oh this man scares the hell out of me it's just a doll but it's a little bit scary and the whole menu is 50s themed all the food they have the proper milkshakes and the proper pies like back in the day in the 50s when you asked like do you want to share a milkshake with me like on a date are you kidding that's so cool and then we all had a cup of chili i've never had it before it's very american australians don't really have chili anyways they also have these books and i chose the one from the year i was born which is 1999 and it tells you everything that happened in that year so the world awaited the y2k bug which 
is basically everybody thought that the world was going to end in two th year 2000. Anyways, also, you can see with the price of everything, a house was 130 grand in the year I was born. Anyway, then I went back to sleep. And when I woke up, we went to a Bass Pro Shop. And I walked around. I lost everybody. I, I didn't know where I was, to be honest. This store is so big. So I just went straight to the home decor section because this is my vibe. If you know me, this is my vibe. This is what my house is going to look like one day when I buy a house. It's going to be a country lodge with everything deer themed. I don't even care. I love it. This is literally what I want my house to look like. Just a bunch of wood and pine trees <laughs> like that's my vibe anyway we made it back safely to the hotel i barely remember because i was sleeping the whole way but we made it and i ordered food for everybody because i'm so nice i delivered the crab seafood boils to everybody's hotel rooms one for mama one for atis and one for me of course and i also ordered ribs because i couldn't decide and i ate that it was delicious and yeah you should really do the road trip from la to vegas ever if you get the chance it's so fun Want to see why pizza in America is so delicious? Are you ready? The oil. It's literally juicy. It's literally like a juice. It's like I'm wearing lip gloss from the oil, <laughs> from the pizza juice, and it's so good. It's really yummy. You guys told me I have a parasite in my gut, so I'm very scared now. And we're driving to Vegas today, and I still have food poisoning. My stomach is still messed up. There's still something going on. So for breakfast, I got a lentil soup while Glenn was getting a whole sushi burrito. And while Mama was getting some fruit, I was in the digestive section looking for something to get rid of my parasite because you guys have scared me, okay? Please don't tell me I have a parasite inside me. I ate my soup like a good girl. I already needed to go to the toilet straight away. This is the road trip, by the way. It's four hours from Los Angeles to Vegas. It's not that long at all and it's very beautiful. And along the way, there's this lolly shop called Eddie's World where you can buy some lollies and you can buy a big bag of raisins, which is very important. Everybody eats a bag of raisins a day, so make sure you buy that. And you even find secret Easter eggs like this. It said thrift store, so we went there and it's this really old thrift store with a bunch of stuff and I wanted to buy this and crop it. I thought it was cute, but then when I walked around the shop, I was carrying it around and I saw these dolls and there's an orb in this video too, which is extra scary. So I put the shirt back because I didn't want to mess with that. I didn't want to take anything home with me. So I just left it there. Anyway, we had some lunch in and out. Delicious. My stomach could not handle it, which is okay. Then we went to Bass Pro Shops because Glenn wanted to buy some hats and they ended up having these big machetes for $12. And somebody commented on Addis's TikTok before saying that they saw somebody with a machete out on the strip in Vegas, which is very scary. I just came here for a hat and a drink bottle, to be honest. So mama picked this out for me. It's very cute. She wanted it for herself, but then I said I wanted it. So she bought it for me and now I feel bad but anyways uh, I got a hat I got a drink bottle and we made it to Vegas so oh, they also have drive through weddings here this is you drive through and get married while you drive through which is crazy anyway we went onto the strip and checked into our hotel and we got changed into some jackets because it's freezing in Vegas at the moment also this is inside a hotel I've showed you before but it's crazy I still can't believe that the sky in here is fake it's crazy then I told us to do an outfit check and he went a little bit crazy a little bit dramatic but that's fine anyway <laughs> I thought it would be cute to book a hot pot dinner for everybody so listen even though i have food poisoning and a stomach bug i don't care i'm eating the raw meat here okay i'm still gonna do it it was delicious and anyway this hot pot place everybody has a mini hot pot in front of them i got chicken but then i changed it to tomato because tomato was yummier the chicken was not that good okay they brought out this big cow with all this meat on it they did hand pulled noodles and they threw it in your face and then you put it in the soup and it cooks in two minutes and you eat it and it was so chewy and delicious you know i love hand pulled noodles so sorry i got a little bit excited but yeah it was very fun and then when you walk out of the hotel it looks like you're in rome so if you ever are in vegas and you want to trick your followers into thinking you were in rome look at it look at the instagram photos that you can get here look this is rome to be honest but yeah it was very fun and i'm very excited this is the story of how i went from this to this in 24 hours and i've never felt that ill in my life so it happened in bali okay we are in bali and i'm not going back to bali for a long time i'll tell you that right now so during the night i woke up with severe stomach pain i was on the toilet all night okay i'll spare you the details i was on the toilet all night so we came into breakfast i was feeling a little bit sick but i thought i'll get a charcoal bowl also glenn was showing me photos of food and i couldn't handle it okay i could not see that right now but i thought i would get a charcoal bowl because it helps with food poisoning apparently i also got two drinks i got a coffee and i got a london fog which is like a i don't know i don't know what it is it's like a london fog okay that's all i could tell you and glenn got this which is very cool it looks like alcohol but it was just coffee with orange in it it was 
was very good then my charcoal bowl came i already couldn't look at glenn's food i felt very bad but i had a little bit of my charcoal bowl i barely ate any of it to be honest because it made me feel too sick and because it's so hot and i couldn't do anything we went straight to a massage place because we thought okay you know what this is harmless you just lay there let's just have a massage and i'll feel better which by the way a 90 minute massage in bali is 10 dollars, sometimes 15 dollars. it's so cheap it's insane and i got a little foot massage glenn got his feet done it was all good and then i started absolutely in germany you'd say ich bin abgekackt okay ich bin wirklich abgekackt i just started feeling worse and worse the only thing i could eat was this sugar cookie it was the only thing i could keep down it was a cookie it was delicious firstly it was really gooey and ooey it was really good it was yummy and from this moment forward the last four days were a blur okay the last thing i remember is glenn cleaned my necklace for me because he felt bad and then the doctor was already there the doctor had to come put an iv drip in me and put medicine in me because i firstly i couldn't sleep i hadn't slept in the whole day at this point i couldn't stay off the toilet the only way i could function was laying in the shower with hot water blasting onto my stomach with a wet towel on me and a pillow look this was me my little half-eaten apple all the medication that the doctor gave me and i was so sick that i couldn't even vlog i was taking photos for you guys i lost four kilos in four days four kilos in four days i didn't sleep for four days i didn't eat for four days all i had was this little tea and the like one or two crackers but then i had to go to the toilet straight away so what we did is we flew home early and i'm so happy that we did i was able to lay at home in my own bed on my own toilet okay uh with my cats i'm so happy also this is what i ate my mama made me this it's so yummy it was just this most simple potato food ever but it was the first thing i'd eaten in four days and i came home to my cucumber being done in the garden which i'm very happy about and now this photo was taken just then okay i feel better it's been five days and we're actually on our way to las vegas right now okay we're about to board i'm very excited everybody's here we got all our snacks it's gonna be a fun week and i'm so excited to show you everything happy birthday to glenn yes it's glenn's birthday today and it is me doing the voiceover today yes <laughs> wondering why it's glenn instead of anna let me tell you why <laughs> we ate a lot of food in this video but there was one specific item that gave anna the food poisoning i turned 24 today by the way Whoever was wondering. <laughs> so we started the morning off by sitting down and grabbing some breakfast at a place that was near the Airbnb. Oh. That's what fucks you oh, up. Because I, I don't like talking like that. Keep going. Okay. So then, yeah, by the way, the breakfast was just 50 bucks. How crazy. Bizarre. Yeah, I thought. So then we were driving and then Anna picked out this Bazello place. And then she was like, oh, I need to turn around and go back to that place. So we turned around and went back. See? Keep going. There's gaps. You're good. And then we went, to, so yeah, so Anna told the Uber to turn around, get the uh, the shirt, got the shirt, got in the car again, went to... I got my period, so I was laying down on my side anyway. That's right. Yep. Then what happened? You gave me your pants to wear because you're such no, a No, but I missed out on so much already there. Doesn't matter. You gave me your pants to wear because I got my period. Yep, Anna, I gave Anna my pants because I had a spare change. And then we, on the way home, but this was after the beach club, on the way home, we got to stop and get some... Tampons. Got some tampons. Which was $40. Yep. Oh my God, there's a food. I just saw it. <laughs> I just saw it. Fuck. I'm so sorry that there's so many gaps in this vlog. This is what I wanted to avoid, but this is literally take number 200 <laughs> and I can't do it anymore. So here we go. We finished eating the food. Anna's rubbing her tummy because she liked it, I think, but she fucking hated it. And then we went to a restaurant that was very interactive and like said stuff on the screen and stuff anyway. I tried to be romantic and book Glenn a birthday trip, but I messed up, okay? I'll show you in a second. As soon as we got to the airport, we ordered food straight away because we were boarding in one hour. So I quickly went and got some lip liners. I needed one color. I didn't know which one to get. I don't have time for that. So I bought three. I think they're fine. I love them anyway. Then I got some headache tablets in case we get a headache, got some water, got some gum. I came back to Glenn with my haul and the food had arrived, which was perfect. So we gobbled that down, right? Oh, and I also brought a Colleen Hoover book in German by... Because I'm German, right? Ich bin Deutsch. Um, ich habe noch nie ein deutsches Buch gelesen, aber ich freue mich. So I've never read a German book before, but I'm excited. And here is where I messed up, okay? I accidentally booked, didn't book our seats next to each other. So I'm in the window seat, jammed into this random couple with their tray tables down, and I need to go to the bathroom so bad. But I don't want to bother them because they have their little setup going on. They open their chips. It smells delicious. Now I'm craving chips and need to go to the bathroom. So I look at the menu. I see chips. I'm struggling. And when I finally got the courage to ask them if I can get up, I'm standing there 
the plane starts shaking. There's extreme turbulence. So I run back to my seat. I put the seatbelt on and I order my chips. Okay, I'm a strong, independent woman. So I eat my chippies. And then look, I have a little hack for you in case you forget a pillow. Listen, I look really tired here because I had already had a little nap. But you jam a book into your shoulder blade. To, like No, into your shoulder. Trust me, you can like lean it against the side. It works. And then we landed in beautiful Bali. We're here for one week. And Bali is actually where Glenn and I first had our private trip no what is it called solo couples trip what do you mean private trip what am i talking about anyways uh they were cooking fish on the side of the road on sticks and we were starving right i really really wanted pasta i've been craving pasta for days so glenn booked a really nice pasta place for us we got back to our airbnb we got ready glenn looks super handsome in his outfit oh my god button up and everything i'm wearing something i would never usually wear i never wear strapless for obvious reasons you can imagine it just doesn't look good on me i think but you know what tonight i'm rocking it okay i don't care i can wear what i want i don't care and when i tell you i was craving pasta i wasn't kidding i ordered four pasta dishes because i couldn't decide and we inhaled every single one we absolutely devoured them and yeah i'm really excited to show you the whole barley Sometimes on Instagram, I see models go to photo shoots and they sit in the chair and they record themselves getting their makeup done. And today that was me. I needed some photos for like a portfolio. So I did that. I felt like a model. I didn't know what was going on. Also, they put a Sunny's case in the back of my pants so that my pants fit. It was a bit of a hack. I don't know, behind the scenes, BTS. Then there was some lunch. I did an outfit change. I feel like a baseball player in America. It was fun. It was very fun. I felt really cool. And then we picked my mama up from the airport. She has been gone for six weeks. She was in Hong Kong, Amsterdam, Turkey, Greece, the whole thing. We went straight to a Chinese place to have some food and they had sautéed bullfrog on the menu. Sauté fried bullfrog. Are you kidding? We didn't get it though. We did get a lot of food though. We got way too much. We had to start putting the food on the seat because there was no room left on the table. Very typical. Oh, the best thing on the table though was this. It was fried corn with sugar on top. Oh, it was so good. And then after that for dessert, we got these fat waffles. And you guys always ask me how I managed to eat so much food. And I don't know. I got it from my mama. She's the same. Look at her. She can eat so much food. It's not even funny. Oh, and then she gave me the gifts that she got me overseas. When we got home, she got me these shoes from Greece they are so cool and this from Hong Kong and this from Turkey even though it says king she said I'm her princess and she said don't worry about the king just ignore it so you know what I'm just gonna pretend it says princess then I had a shower I washed all the makeup off I feel pretty and then I had the most crazy snack ever cookies with blueberries and banana and milk oh milk oh, by the way oh milk is the best you have to 